Hey, Evil Dead fans, here is a tip for your workshed chainsaw, if you're building one, uh, to help you out. Um, just to let you know, I don't know when the heater's gonna kick back on, it's kinda cold here. But right now we got the handle that I've done. I like a little, nice little imperfections in this. And I did make a video on how to actually make your chainsaw handle look like this. So I will post that here coming up pretty soon here. I'm gonna try to do this with a knee and uh, one hand. Okay, so on Evil Dead 2, the workshed chainsaw. Now when it comes to the top, uh, especially the top handle, you will notice there's two holes and one that's kind of actually uh, drilled out a little bit wider. There is a reason for that. Now when it comes to the top, there is no L-shaped bracket on the top, on the flat top. There is no L-shaped bracket on the inside that would come from down this way. There is not one there. Uh, there actually is a little tail. Uh, if you're building one of these flat top tops, you want to actually leave a little piece of metal on the back side so you can actually cut a little tail. Or like me, I accidentally cut mine off, so I actually had the epoxy one on there. So, I got everything drilled accordingly. Now, this is what I call the magically disappearing bolt. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to the two bolt holes on the back of the chainsaw top handle, this bolt hole here hooks onto the hole back here on this piece on the top, hooks through here, and this actually hooks to an L-shaped bracket hooked onto the cuff. This hole only connects to the bottom hole on the top. It does not connect to the cuff. This one does not. This one is hidden. Now, let me show you what kind of bolt you need to have in order to make it look right. Find the shortest size you can find. And let me get a nice little shot here. Notice how it is a bolt, of course, but look how it is nice and flat. So, depending on the diameter that you're using, first you want to drill your hole accordingly to the width of the actual bolt size here. And then go with another size drill bit to fit the head size. Remember, you want to keep it nice and flat. Because if you remember that scene, this bolt, when it's installed should be flat like that, completely flat. This bolt will be, oh, now we focus in. Now, this bolt will be hidden. Basically, the L-shaped bracket will come to about right here, here to here, and your cuff will cover most of this piece here, if not the L-shaped bracket. But you wanna keep this nice and flat. This bolt will not connect to the cuff. Only this bolt up here. If you're doing a work shed uh, chainsaw, the flat top. And remember, get it as short as possible. Let me try to do this again with a knee in one hand. Let's pull this out. Okay. You pull it up here. Notice how it's nice and flat. And it's gonna be nice and short. I may cut it down a little bit more, but this bolt up here needs to have a, a flat head style bolt. It's gonna be rounded, not flat like this, but rounded, but a flat head style bolt, and it's gotta be longer. I'm trying to pull my fingers out to show you guys. Longer to about right here than this one. So if you're building a flat top and you wanna get it as accurate as possible, that is one thing a lot of people oversee is that simple hidden bottom bolt. And if you rewatch Evil Dead 2 and you watch a work shed scene and, uh, where they're making the flat top, you will see that bolt and you will see how it's hidden once they install that L-shaped bracket. Uh, and he's tighten it, tightening down the L-shaped bracket on the cuff to the actual handle here. So that's just a little bit, of, little little tip for you guys. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Like I said, I did have another video I haven't posted yet on showing you guys how to actually make 
your top handle look like this. And also talking about the L-shaped bracket here with the magically disappearing bolt head. So stay tuned for that. Um, and I want to thank you guys for everything. You guys have been great. And if you guys have any suggestions on what I should do, even though I'm pretty much booked up for a long time now, uh, just let me know in the comments. And you guys stay groovy. Bye. Okay, I was going to end the video there, but I want to show you guys uh, what I'm talking about when it's fully installed, the L-shaped bracket. Now, the top's just sitting on here right now. Nothing's bolted down, and there is no other side on it right now. Okay, let's look at this L-shaped bracket. Now, I bought this bracket from Ace Hardware, and it has the insignia on it, which I gotta get rid of that. But if you notice, the L-shaped bracket is covering some of that bolt. Now, when I was talking to Chris, now Chris is the guy who's making the cuff for me. He was saying it has a three inch inside diameter. And so I measured out here to here, and it's between three and a half to three and a quarter, which should be okay since, uh, uh, it is kind of a wider cuff than say you're just using the regular PVC because this one is gonna be made of metal. Um, if anything that I'll have to do is I'll just have to reposition um, either the cuff or just make a different bracket if, I, if need be. But what I did is I grabbed my oversized PVC uh, just to kind of see where we're sitting at. Let's see if I can move this without anything falling. Okay, so, and remember, the cuff, the flat top cuff does not hang down below the bottom of the body. It's pretty well flush. So this is the oversized PVC that I use. And see how close that is right there? It's just going to be perfect. Now, I'll have to bend this L-shaped bracket properly, but it's going to work out great. And uh, you can pick these brackets up at Ace's, uh, any hardware store. Just make sure it doesn't have... A staggered bolt hole because sometimes you'll find them where a bolt holes on one side and the other ones on the other side uh, just this is the smallest one I could find now and you notice that the size difference in the bolts right there notice how the top one is longer it's supposed to be longer and connects all the way through and I did put some grit down there I pretty much got the top done weathering look at the brown look with the black uh, to make it look like old oil and uh, just nastiness. So I did stick some grit down there uh, to cover up that line, the connection line when I, had, when I had to epoxy that piece on there. And I did put some in the front right there. And you remember the handle on Evil Dead 2, the flat top, it wasn't super dirty, so I didn't make it super dirty on this one. Uh, usually the Ash vs. Evil Dead handle is pretty much almost all black because <laughs> they just gritted the crap out of it. So this is how it looks. And notice it's covering up that bolt head right there. It's nice and flat. That's what you want. And from a distance, you'll see it looks great. And you remember on Evil Dead 2, like I said, you'll see the scene when Annie has got a screwdriver and tightening down that bolt right there when the cuff is right here um, when she's attaching it. And you'll remember, if you look right, that cuff actually does come up over the top. It doesn't stay flush with the top here. It actually comes up a little bit higher and it stays flush with the bottom. It does not hang down. So I uh, just want to give you guys an update. Tell me what you guys think. And oh, and one more thing. Notice that this is the proper bolt right here. It is a flat tip bolt, and, but it's round. So that's the one you want to use. So until next time, you guys stay groovy.